And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Demir Affinity Forge. We're going to be playing the standard metagame challenge with this deck. Unfortunately, we just had some technical difficulties. We started uh, the standard metagame challenge and it was going well. We won our first match um, against the, a blue-red Phoenix deck. And it was a really awesome match, really uh, like three really good games, especially the third game was really cool that we won, got to do some crazy stuff. And then we played against uh, five color uh, Field of the Dead, Golos, um, with Fae of Wishes and um, Fires of Invention, you know, like it was that kind of deck. And we lost game one, and they Fae of Wishes Fae of Wished for Planar Cleansing and blew up all of our stuff. Game two, I, I unmoored egoed all the Fae of Wishes and at Ashiok mill over 20 cards. And I liked where my chance I liked my chances. <clears throat> it was pretty close, but I, I mean I, I'm pretty sure we were ahead. Like I, I would have been really surprised if we would have lost. Um from where we were at. We were just casting Legion's End to exile a whole bunch of zombies. They had like, you know, less than 20 cards left in their library, and I had a I didn't have much but a Castle Vantress. So I was going to be able to scry two after casting the Legion's End and, you know, look for something for the next turn. But anyway, so that's that's what what happened. But whenever I cast that Legion's End, unfortunately, my foot um, hit my power cord and disconnected and the power cord from the wall by accident. And, you know, obviously, the Internet, computer, everything shut down. So we ended up losing. And so we're going to have to restart here. <laughs> reset so we'll see how it goes you know putting the record back to zero zero uh what this standard metagame challenge is it's it's a it's an event that's just happening this weekend here on arena and it's a an event where uh, you play until you lose one time and there's really big prizes for winning a lot and we'll i'll show you those here in a little bit but back to our deck our deck's all about uh casting a whole bunch of stuff for free <laughs> this is kind of weird. I already went through like this whole spiel about like the deck, you know, just you know, an, an hour ago, whenever we had a, whenever we did this before. But I know y'all on YouTube. I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, our, our deck's about playing all this stuff for free. You know, like we have uh, Ugin can make our colorless spells cost two less. So that means if these all these spells cost two less, I, I won't put the cursor over. It. That's kind of annoying. You you can see for yourself. We have those 16 spells that can all cost two less. Um, the serpent, you know, we can cast it for two or less. Um, and then Tezzeret, uh, makes our creatures and our planeswalkers have affinity for artifacts, which you can read what affinity for artifacts does to the left of Tezzeret there. So basically it costs less for each artifact we control. So if we control two artifacts, all these things are free. If we control three artifacts, the Scuzzle Mud is free. If we control five artifacts, Colos is free because it's a creature, creatures and planeswalkers. So if we control six artifacts, Ugin is free because they're all colorless. Um, so however many artifacts we have, Serpent costs, you can play that for that much for free. So we're play we want to play like all this stuff for free. And the way that we can do that even better, of course, is Mystic Forge. That's why this is, this is a Mystic Forge deck. That's why we're calling it Affinity Forge. And, um, the, uh, the, the Mystic Forge here lets us play colorless cards, you know, artifacts and colorless non-land cards from the top of our library. So if we can just play all that stuff for free. Uh, we can have some crazy turns. So that's what our deck's about. Um, so Healy makes us 1-1s to block. Emery play, replays some cards. Um, but that's that's what our deck's all about. We got a whole bunch of different lands. We can support just a couple Field of the Deads with the help of Golas and everything like that. I, I think my sideboard is still my sideboard is still very rudimentary. Um, I'm sure that there's there's better things I could be doing within an, a total sideboard, but that's why I kind of wanted to, to play some of these events to kind of test out the deck more because it's still, you know, in the early phases of playing the deck. We just played it the one league about three days ago and then just the two matches that we played but yet didn't play a little bit ago. So I'm sure that there's there's better things to be doing in the sideboard than, you know, probably don't need like three Legion events and three Ritual of Soot kind of thing. But I don't know. That's That's the sideboard for now. Let's go ahead and give this a try. <clears throat> so yeah, if we we can see until we lose, whenever we lose, we're out. So if we can go 1-0, we 
we get a thousand gold. Two and zero, oh, we get fifteen hundred gold in a pack, and so on. These these numbers of the packs, you can get three packs, five packs, ten, twenty, thirty packs. So like if you if we get to five wins, we can get a whole lot of packs. But anyway, let's get to it. So the reason why I have Spyglass, and you know, you're saying like, what about like duress instead of Spyglass? I have Spyglass to stop Oko, Thief of Crowns, because with us playing just all these artifacts, Oko is is a nightmare, and so I want Spyglass to stop Oko. I could play like Noxious Grasp to kill Oko, but then of course my opponent could have another Oko. I just want like my one card, like my Spyglass, that just shuts down all the Okos. Um, Spyglass can of course do a lot of different things against other opponents as well and uh, it's something that we can cast for free we can cast it off, uh, you know if we have Ugin in play but we can also just cast it off the top with Mystic Forge it just works with it well with the deck I'm keeping the the first four I'm keeping Golos I'm either getting rid of Sahili or Tez I think we'll get we'll just get rid of the six mana card No, Shimmer Dragon is not bad. It's just I have I have five six drops already in the deck that I that are like complete necessities, and therefore I don't really want to play more six drops. <clears throat> We're trying out Scuttle Mutts instead of Chromatic Lantern. I had Chromatic Lantern before. We're trying out Scuttle Mutts instead. Dice to shock. <laughs> no, my Serpent. I would have liked to play a Serpent here. Chromatic Lantern is better with Sihili and Golos, but Scuttlebutt's a lot better with Serpent, uh, Serpent, Emery, Tezzeret, and um, the creature that puts count puts counters on your creatures. So they they each have their pluses and minuses. Oh yeah, I didn't restart oh. Deckmaster. Thanks for the reminder there. Go ahead, yeah, Origato, you always can. Go ahead. Yep, I never mind. Y'all linking deck lists. Okay, Deckmaster should be up and going now. Puts us down to three. Okay. So this is why we have all this... <clears throat> Get Ashiok back out here. This is why we have all this <laughs> cheap removal, though, these aggro decks. So we got three Legions and three Ritual of Sets to bring on in here. Um, as far as what to cut, I'm I'm kind of thinking Emery and Scuttlemutt. And Sahili. So I'm kind of thinking it's like those cards.
Okay, here we go. I don't think I, I want to cut it. Like Ugin, Ugin is so important for us, like winning games. I don't think I, I don't think I should cut Ugin. Basically ever. And Tez can gain a lot of life for us. If I was on the draw, I'd absolutely be mulliganing this. Maybe. I'm, still, I'm just going to mulligan. Dang it. <laughs> How do we have four or six drops at hand? Uh. Should have just kept the first one. Should have just kept the first one. What happened? Yeah, my I accidentally unplugged my computer. I like just unplugged the power cord by accident with my foot. Pretty just pretty depressing. Seriously, they don't just have more creatures to play. Blech. Of course, I want them to play a lot more creatures so I could ritual of sets. You know, use the guild globe for another black mana. But they didn't do they didn't do that. They didn't play a bunch bunch of creatures. <clears throat> no, I mean my opponent just didn't have creatures to play. It was unfortunate they just had a hand full of burn spells and frenzy. Yeah, Fren frenzy is like, you know, it's it allows you to play lands and everything, so it can do more than forge can. But forge, you know, you still get to play cards in hand with forge. That's a good one. We'll keep the island. We can play that, play Golos. Go grab like a, a Demir. No, not not Demir Gilgate, but you know, go grab like the gain life land. Ow. Dismal backwater. So we're down to three with this shock. Our 
So close to being dead. Alright, so basically my opponent has this turn to kill me. You know, with having the, the two stone coral serpents with trample. So please do not draw a burn spell. They they obviously have enough mana to pop frenzy also if they have a burn spell in hand. Ah. Yeah, we're dead. Well darn. <laughs> uh, I guess we try one more time. Nine o'clock now. I guess we try one more time, man. That that's just a just a pretty bad video for YouTube if we just have that one match. If I would have, if I d didn't wait for Ritual of Soot, if I would have just played. My, you know, they played my uh, Steel Overseer out early. You know, if I would have just played that on turn three instead of playing nothing, honestly, we'd probably win that. But. I didn't. Okay. So back to zero and zero. Um. Yeah, hindsight, 10 out of 10. Hey, Boot. Oh, we're not doing so good. Well, we're starting a new league, but... I accidentally un unplugged the computer earlier, and so... We were doing a lot better in Challenge earlier, and I just got disconnected and had to reset and everything. That's a good mill over for Emery. Four artifacts, you know, none of them lands. You know, because we want to draw lands here. So that's that's a really good mill over for Emery. Yeah, I, I am Dalrid Dal, yeah, I, I still like our deck. I mean the only match that I lost tonight now is is against Mono Red there. Like I I know I'm playing a slow deck and so yeah, Mono Red beats me. That's that's fine. Emery is pretty good against, you know, a, a counter spell deck. Cuz like if they counter, you still just get to keep playing stuff. Get to keep playing your cards. It's like, you know, like they negate it, but it's like it just goes back to your hand basically.
Yeah, I want to try to hit land drops right now, and so playing the two eggs helps me hit land drops better than just playing the Mystic Forge. Mystic Forge doesn't hit land drops. I like that Ugin on top. Okay, they're down to four. Hey, what's up, Choco? Uh, love you, Choco. Thanks for that resub there. So the good news is... Ugin should be able to resolve this next turn. Because they got to deal with the Steel Overseer, so they can't really counter, I think. I could also be wrong there. I have the Blast Zone that can kill the Spectral Sailor. Yeah, one of one of them to tap out so we could resolve Ugin. So unless they have I don't know, a one mana counter. They're pretty dead. And here we go. <laughs> I was still I was still going. 
I know I lost to Simic Flash the other time that I played it. We kind of got fortunate there with the early overseers, but I, I don't think this is a good matchup for me. I don't like this is not this is not a a matchup I really have good stuff against in the sideboard or anything. Um, probably yeah. How many spyglass do you play with Gruel for Oko? I wouldn't say any more than three. So somewhere between one and three, so you know, like probably like two. But you can kind of you can kind of play with those numbers somewhere between one and three. Definitely not four. Probably two. Honestly, ego for night pack ambusher is not the worst idea. I would usually hate playing Ego here, but Nightpack Ambusher is just such a pain. Let's try it. Why not? We... Yeah, it's, it's not... Ego is not good in this matchup. But, uh... I kind of have nothing else. <laughs> and Nightback Ambusher is devastating. I was kind of hoping not to draw it, to be honest. But no, this is this is not a matchup I would basically ever play Ego in unless you're really desperate like who we are here. I would, not, I would not normally recommend playing Ego in this matchup. And by normally, I mean like 98% of the time. Or in like the 2%. You gotta be looking for land. So would I rather resolve Overseer? Resolving Overseer isn't very valuable with the Borrower there. Trips Borrowers. This is this is not ego value because they just draw new cards. It's not like we get it's not like we actually get cards from their hand. They get to just draw new cards. However, like the like so if I if I, if I ego and say borrower, then they're definitely getting a fourth land and they're gonna be able to slam this ambusher and we're gonna lose to the ambusher. So I, I definitely don't want to say borrower. Borrower is not that not, not that bad. We have reach. I'm I'm saying ambusher. I can't really beat ambusher. Right. I don't want them to draw a land and then play, you know, slam Nightpack Ambusher.
So I gotta figure out how to deal with a couple more brazen borrowers. I really did not want to draw that ego. <laughs> that was not an ego I wanted to draw. Okay, good. I mean, I could play Stone Coral Serpent for five. They just bounce. So I went with three so that I can crack the egg here still and gain three life. Yeah, e the ego was the worst card to draw in the deck. Getting rid of the ambushers, that was valuable. Now this this card is not not valuable anymore. Really need that sixth land for Ugin. So now Serpent holds back Frilled Mystic. Or not. Shockland? Yeah, they forgot about the pro multicolor. And yeah, like it's at least it's a better chance that my my opponent draws lands whenever they have all those cards exiled. And here we go. Ah, I want that serpent. Could decline, I guess. That's kind of weird to decline this. I could just cast that serpent first. Duh. What am I doing? But that was like my whole plan, and then I just played the guild globe for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why I played that guild globe. Wow, we actually beat Timic Clash. Unmoored Ego. Taking out the Nightpack Ambusher. It's a lot easier when they don't have Ambusher. That is true. Because our deck doesn't really have removal, and so we don't really kill the Ambusher, and so the Ambusher kind of kills us.
How do I resolve it? Their their hand was just all creatures. They didn't they didn't have counter magic game two. It was just all creatures. Yeah, I guess knowing yeah knowing their hand does help for sure. Hey, what's up, Adam? <laughs> yeah, you attacked with the Frillabistic. I'm sorry about that. GG's, though. I know. I, like, right right when I played it, I was like, well, I'm gonna, I'll play this to blank. You know, so they can't attack with Frilled Mystic. And then, like, immediately afterwards, Adam, you uh, you attacked with Frilled Mystic. And I was like, well, never mind. <laughs> I guess you could attack with Frilled Mystic. But, yeah, I rec recognize your name there from the sub-battle streams and everything. All right, so tough game one matchup for us here. But it's what, like, our whole sideboard is for Field of the Dead. Looks like a pretty good opening hand here. Turn two, four lands in play for our opponent. I'm going to get some, you know, throwing down these eggs and stuff and trying to... Find Mystic Forge, Ugin, Tezzeret. Mm, sure. I'm just gonna get get a land out of the deck. I don't want to draw land. Scale of Grizzly Bear to Skull Clamp. What do you think about Field of the Dead getting banned? Problem. So yeah, on a scale, grizzly bear to skull clamp. Probably like field of the dead. Don't really want to draw lands. No, worse than reflector mage. Reflector Mage was kind of annoying, but not not as nearly as annoying as Field of the Dead. Thank you. You're so close. No, you were so close. You could do it. Ah, these servants have been eating so many creatures. Yeah, I understand Renowned Weaponsmith combos well with Guild Globe, but it's just... It's just something we don't really need for the rest of the deck, basically. It's it's a little slow. Our our deck, you know, can already play free guild globes without too much trouble. Such a good combo. Come on, Ugin. Ugin. Taz. Taz. I guess I need to draw Taz. I don't want to get rid of Taz. All right, well, now we'll get rid of Taz. Ugin! Okay. Our next turn is going to be sweet. Yeah, Time Wipe just kind of kills all, all the creatures. It doesn't... It doesn't target. So yeah, Stone Coral Serpent is, you know, just dies. It Protection means you can't be targeted by or dealt damage by 
But time wipe doesn't deal damage, doesn't target. It's just like a global effect. So they're sacking a zombie to do two damage. Man, our next turn is going to be awesome. If y'all don't know how cool my deck is, wait till this next turn. Unless my opponent does something rude. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad. Okay. Well, also assuming we hit spells off the top, which I guess that's that's a who knows. Okay, we're we're hitting spells, so we're gonna cast Tezzeret. I take what I need. Which means Golos is free. Huh. I kind of want to decline because I want to cast this Guild Globe. Like, Guild Globe's pretty perfect. I'm just going to decline. So, Ugin is free. Because of Tezzeret. Guild Globe's free. Steel Overseer is free. Scuttlemutt's free. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't really need to kill the Krasis. Krasis doesn't matter. Darn. I need to stop running out of artifacts, though. That's why I wanted that. That's why I wanted the Guild Globe. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine artifacts, 10 for mana, 12 because of Ugin. Let's just play this thing for 12. Now we can pay this thing for 12. So we have 12 artifacts, so tick up for 12. <laughs> that turn could have been a lot cooler if we didn't hit like that land pocket. We could have we could have really gone crazy there. That's rude. That's really rude. Why would opponent be so rude? me later <laughs> that's more like it darn I have to spend two mana <laughs> that's weird Okay. I mean, they're they're just gonna die to my stone coral serpents, but I kind of want to. I mean, do I kill them right now or do we keep playing? Kill them. All right. I kind of assume they're dead, right? That's 24, 20, that's 26 trample. They have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 15. So go 28. Then that, yeah, they're dead. Be gone, interloper. What's up, JRC? Well, I wasn't going to not miss lethal. It's just whether I want to like play a bunch more things and just show my opponent more cards, and but have fun playing stuff because playing stuff is fun. 
but I, I wasn't going to miss lethal. All right, so we got game one. And now we bring in the sideboard. All right, sideboard in. Other stuff out. Um, let's go fourteen cards in, thirteen, thirteen cards in. Yeah, that's that's the one that's the one card that I'm not sure that I should be taking out of the snakes. I probably shouldn't be taking out the snakes. <clears throat> so, question is, do you think one manifold key would be good in the deck to untap an artifact when you need it? What, what is that? Like, that's an effect that you know that that you can have. Like, what? What is that better than that's in the deck? Like, what is worse than just untap an artifact? Like, untap an artifact is is very, very low on the power level. I don't, I don't think there's any cards in the deck that are worse than untap an artifact. Like, you know, there, it's not that un untap an artifact doesn't have value. It does. But there's not really anything in the deck that is worse than untap an artifact. How are we winning? Probably milling them out with Ashiok. Um, also Sahili. Going real wide with Sahili. Certainly easier to win on the play than on the draw. Like getting you know, getting Ashiok like if like imagine us getting Ashiok in this turn, you know, if we were on the play. You know, that's before their ramp spell. This isn't a fight you can win. What if I'm not trying to win the fight? We're trying to win the war. Here goes nothing. Yay, one field one field down. Leonidas gun. Thank you so much for that resub there. I appreciate that. Sub number 34 on the day. Let's slow this down. <laughs> hey Gambix, yeah. This deck is sweet. This is hardly my worst defeat. Well, unfortunately, four draw steps, zero land, so we're not we're not hitting land drops here. It's unfortunate. Could really use some land drops. No, I am not making this up as I go. Specifically, two land drops. I can no longer stand by and get to Golas. That will get us to Ugin. I've done the hero thing before. There we go. I guess I don't actually have to fetch. I can just play the land. <clears throat> why is why is Agent of Treachery so messed up?
I mean, see, like, normally I would say Teferi, but my opponent's already just gone through a bunch of Teferis. So I could say Golos. I'm just going to still say Teferi. <clears throat> All right, two Field of the Dead gone. And a second Agent of Treachery. Because, like, this this leaves Teferi at one loyalty where where we can do one damage to Teferi. Okay. I mean, <clears throat> Agent of Treachery is still going to be a really hard card to beat. That's how it was meant to happen. Nah. <laughs> I exiled the fourth to fairy anyway. Darn it. I wanted them to draw the fourth to fairy. That wasn't a good exile. So basically, we got two Field of the Deads, two fields. And an agent of treachery. I must accept defeat for now. Ugh. The two, these are kind of the two cards that I've lost, like playing this this specific deck that I've played. Basically, all like the post board games, any any post board games I've lost to Field of the Dead has been Agent of Treachery and Planar Cleansing have been the problematic cards. I remember one one game we played. I named Unmoored. Was that with this deck? I guess it might have been another deck that I Unmoored ego egoed on like turn three and just named Agent of Treachery because I knew that card was going to be so hard to beat instead of Field of the Dead, and my opponent had zero Agent of Treacheries in their deck. So my opponent has Mystic Forge, so they could be... I don't know if they know what Ac Mystic Forge really does. They can be activating and everything. Oh, come on. They had a, a third Agent of Treachery? No. Why are you saying I need to kill the Agent? Like, isn't it better just to tick up to get card advantage? And dig through the deck? Secrets manifest before you. I guess, what, Time Wipe? How many lands total do we exile? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We exiled nine lands total. They're at 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So they've gone through 18 lands that we know about. Because <clears throat> that's the thing. If they steal one more thing, they're gonna have to start drawing three cards a turn, and that'll help. That'll help me mill them out faster. They're at twenty-three cards in library right now. Yeah, I can. I can understand that. I, I kind of. I mean, I. 
I think standard would be better if there was no agent of treachery and no mass manipulation myself. I think those cards are a little too powerful. I, I don't know about too... I mean, they're just... I don't know about too power... They're just not enjoyable cards. <laughs> The second agent treachery taking my Ugin obviously is quite rough. All right, 19 cards. Why can't I have my Mystic Forge? This game would have been a lot easier if my opponent didn't play the card Agent of Treachery. Or Planar Cleansing. Yeah, waiting one turn. I'm gonna Legion's end this next turn, basically, because they're like, if I Legion's end, I'm just getting rid of three zombies. They're gonna be able to get a whole lot more zombies, like after this next turn. So, all right. So that's they don't have any more Field of the Dead's in the deck. Like those are like the only two. All right, Fourteen cards. That was a bad land draw for us. It's one of our only lands that, you know, doesn't trigger field. Could have really used a land that triggered field. There's chilling with sweepers over there. Right, they're down to nine cards. Eight cards now. 
If we had... way I go. No, my opponent doesn't have planar cleansing. I don't know. They're... Ashiok is only going to be able to mill four because of like the Ugin. Those Agent of Treacheries certainly won my opponent that game. Agent of Treachery number two and number three. Not having Mystic Forge has obviously hurt my draw steps horribly. I don't have any artifacts for Tez. Yeah, cause even the second one that took the Mystic Forge, we were doing okay, but the third one took my Ugin. It's unfortunate. Really, Ritual of Set? <laughs> One more card. You're a fool if you think you can outmaneuver me. I can't spyglass Ugin. I I need I need Ugin. No. Wait. Wait, I could have cast Golos? Oh I could have cast Golos! Oh my gosh, I messed this up. Oh I don't know why I was thinking I forgot about the, the minus the two colorless less to cast off of Ugin. Uh, I could have I could have cast Golos, and gotten a land to be able to trigger Field of the Dead, so I could have had two blockers, so I could have stayed alive here. Ah, uh, I could have stayed alive. I could have gone to two. I don't know why I forgot about that. It just says it says three. I just picked it up and hit past turn. My presence alone will guide you towards victory. That's a good, yeah, good point, Ripper. I was dead anyway. My my opponent could just Ugin minus kill the zombie, and I'm taking lethal. So yeah, yeah. So I, I would have died anyway. Even if I go grab Dismal Backwater, which I could have, I'm still taking four, and I'm at four. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna not play Spyglass. I'm gonna play some Stone Coral Serpents. <laughs> well, 
Spyglass also can name Golos, so they don't get to sit back and activate Golos. That's, that's another big use for Spyglass. Yeah, we could definitely play counter magic in the sideboard. You know, mystical dispute negate that kind of stuff. Like I said, I, I my sideboard is is very basic and can almost certainly be upgraded upon. I so I put the fetch land back down to the bottom because I you know like we want to put a land to the bottom and if if I put a non fetch land then if whenever I play the fetch then we would just fetch. You know, we just shuffle that land back. Yeah, obviously our hand is horrible. And I don't like our chances. <laughs> I don't like our chances at all. If we draw on Mordigo, we're on Mordigoing Agent of Treachery, of course. That is... That is the card that is devastating. Good hand opponent. Turn two, Grow Spiral. Turn three, Counter Magic. Turn four Golos. It's a lot better than this garbage hand over here. That's for sure. GG. And just perfect mana to activate Golos also. Even with being able to get Field of the Dead. Oh no, that's not a that's not a Never mind, they don't. That's not a guild gate. So they can't, they don't have green and black. So never mind, cannot activate Golos. I mean, I could have gone to five. You know, my six card hand is just five lands and a Five lands and a redraw. It's not a very good hand, obviously. We need to get lucky there. Unfortunately, but by get lucky, we drew two more redraws and five lands. Five more lands. Or four more lands. Four more lands. Sorry. Hawkeye with the tail whip. This is a lot different game. Let's just have three Field of the Deads? Come on. A lot different game than the last time whenever we played the Field of the Dead deck. It was game game one, they had a hand like this that we got steamrolled. Game two, I had the Ashiok on Mordigo combo that won, or was going to be winning. And then we were going to be going to play game three. This was kind of backwards. We stole game one. And then our Ashiok lost game two. Yeah, I can gain three life by sacking Golden Egg.
Okay. All right, so we got to one win. I... I mean, I, I kept that, that game three hand. My hand was garbage, but we had already mulliganed to six, and I just kind of kept that over a five-card hand with having a bunch of lands and just basically hoping that, you know, like, obviously you, you need to, like, hit land drops in a game of Magic, and especially with, like, this deck with, six with like, six drops that are important, we need to hit land drops. And so I just kept the six-card hand that had five lands and an egg and just help, just hoped that our draw steps would be all the spells, you know, you know, we kept kept the land half. Hope I was going to draw the spell half. But our six, first six cards, um, I guess first seven cards, were just two more redraws, four four more lands, and one Mystic Forge that got countered. So that just wasn't wasn't even competitive there. Um. So that's rough, losing to Field of the Dead, even with four Ashiok and two Ego in the sideboard. <clears throat> and also all this removal for zombies and everything. Abs and Knights. Cool. All right, thank you so much for that donation deck there. Any, the, the, on telling me which, which basics, what avatar, what sleeves to use. Awesome, I like it. I like it. I can have all those. Thank you so much there, KY, for that donation deck. Did you put what day and what time slot you wanted in there? That's the other thing. Whenever you donate for a deck, you can choose the day and time. It might have cut the message off because you had the basics. That's that's all it, it had there. But anyway, uh, we got to do some cool stuff with the deck. I hope you hope you uh, enjoyed it and um, and everything. I think... I think we still need to still need to work on a little bit. I think maybe maybe we don't need the scuttle mutts in the main deck. Maybe we need some interaction there in the main deck. You know, play some removal spells instead of scuttle mutts, and then that'll free up a little bit of sideboard. Also, I mean, heck, maybe a third on more ego for these field of the dead decks. They're rough, um, but then you know we could play like some counter magic and stuff also. So maybe instead of you know so. Um, Sahili looked looked kind of bad today. I think we could probably trim a Sahili also, um, as well. Perfect. Yep. Tomorrow second slot sounds good. Kwa Ky, I'll write that down. Um. Well, you so you say Sahili is too slow, but you understand like whenever when our deck is doing its thing with you know like Mystic Forge Ugin and we're casting a bunch of eggs off the top, Sahili can just you know make a bunch of artifacts, and that's you know like that's that like gives us the defense to stay alive to block like for Ugin and stuff like you know making a bunch of artifacts and then makes Tezzeret's plus even better but honestly yeah but maybe with having Overseer Stone Coral Serpent maybe it's not too necessary we didn't we haven't we didn't really do anything with Sahili very much like these games so I, I think definitely we could trim Sahili's get some more interaction in there I'll keep working on the deck we'll play it again here soon um again sorry about like the first part of the video we were doing so well we had so much momentum and everything but i hope y'all over on youtube still liked the second uh video here you know let me you know let me know about the deck in the the comments um you know lo love seeing all the youtube comments and everything but uh please hit the like and subscribe buttons as well i'd appreciate that but thanks for watching some demir affinity forge and i'll see you for the next video